all traffic laws are there for a reason, but there are some laws drivers either don't understand, don't know exist, or just plain ignore. As the Night Team's David Sears shows us, there are drivers that will not hesitate to break the law just to cut a corner and create a very dangerous situation. Aside from speeding, it's one of the most blatantly abused traffic laws around San Antonio. There he goes, crossing the solid white line. Driver after driver. Vehicle after vehicle, crossing the uh, solid white line. Crossing the solid white line. You're not allowed to cross it, even though it's more convenient for you to just cut across it. That solid line appears just as drivers exit highways around town. This is the exit at Highway 281 at Bitters. As you're coming off the highway, when that solid white line is there between your lane and the lane that you're attempting to merge into, you must go past that solid white line. Sounds good, and it's the law, but... You know, truthfully, sometimes I do, so... Yeah, I'm sure I see a lot of people do it. It's just easier, and it's uh, easier access. It's crazy to have to try to dunk over traffic in order to get into here, which you shouldn't be doing. And what makes crossing that white line even more dangerous is when people coming up the access road don't bother to yield. The rule is that the folks that are already on the access road must yield to the traffic exiting from the highway. I guess it's a matter of paying attention and some people are so busy doing what they're doing that either on their phone or trying to get to work or just don't pay attention. And according to Officer Trujillo, you shouldn't be cutting across lanes either. Like at 1604 and 281, drivers trying to get to the Walmart parking lot. That's, that's a no-no. You should travel further down, turning on and off your signal as you change lanes every 100 feet. You learn something every day, I guess. Remember what you should do. And give and take a little bit of patience with you. David Sears, KZ 12 News. Belts can definitely be lifesavers, but there's another car feature that too few drivers are using, and it's as simple as flipping a lever. We are talking about your blinker. As our David Sears shows us, the simple act of using your turn signal can save anxiety, accidents, and even save you a traffic ticket. They have been standard equipment on cars and trucks since 1938. That is your way of communicating with the traffic around you. But not all drivers use them. Frustration level is over my head. Turn signals. So if you don't use your turn signals, no one knows when you intend on changing lanes. Using your blinker is not only considerate, it cuts down on accidents. Not to mention, it's the law. Do you want to know that they're turning? You know, I don't want to pile up on me, and if I have to slam my brakes, I'm looking in my, my rear view, hoping I'm not going to get hit. So you want to give the drivers behind you a sufficient warning so that they can start slowing down themselves because you don't want a train reaction accident to happen behind you. And when you use your blinker, you can't be a bully about it. Well, that doesn't give you carte blanche just to go ahead and bulldoze over. Now, one of the most frustrating things we found from drivers is when somebody's in front of them and cuts over two or three lanes with a blinker or without. We have a lot of folks that like to change multiple lanes. They wait till the last minute. You have to give a reasonable warning, and there is no bolting from one lane to another. You have to travel 100 feet between lane changes. The stripes on the road are there to help you. All the lanes are marked with stripes. The spaces between the stripes are 30 feet long. The stripes themselves are 10 feet long. So if you take the gap plus the stripe, that's 40 feet. So once you have three sets of those, you know you've passed 120 feet. Oh, they go three lanes over and then they start going 60 miles per hour. And that frustrates me. Unlike very simple rules of the road, yield and merge. But sometimes they're confused and abused. The night team's David Sears tries to clarify the rules and points out a few places in town where things can get a little complicated. Most of the yields around here, most people don't pay attention to anyway. And therein lies the problem, knowing when to yield or merge. Yield means more than just trying not to hit the other guy. You are supposed to slow down and yield the right of way and be prepared to stop if necessary. Many yields are on highway access roads, looking out for exiting traffic. And those yields can also apply to more than just one lane. But then there are some that take some getting used to. When it comes to yielding, one of the more confusing areas in town is the 1604 I-10 interchange. We're getting off of 1604. We want to go I-10 east to San Antonio, but we've got a yield sign before we can get on I-10. We've got a yield for the cloverleaf. What's up with that? And you have the cloverleaf ramp exiting I-10 going on to 1604. And that cloverleaf is an exit ramp, and that's why the yield sign is where it is. 
most people think that the yield is the people coming this way and it's the yield for it for the people this way oh yeah it, 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 it can be confusing then there's the turnaround at Harry Wurzbach in 410 the yield sign is at the beginning of the turnaround and not at the end like most folks are used to it looks like traffic is merging which is another road rule if your lane is the one that's ending you must yield the right-of-way to the lane that's not ending but if you're in that lane you also have to give the drivers moving over a break just be a little bit polite and let one guy in like a zipper just one guy in one guy out if you know the rules of the road you'll be safe david sears case at 12 news drivers it's hard enough to follow traffic signs that they do see but even when there aren't any traffic signs there are still rules to follow the night team's david sears and officer marcus trujillo shows us traffic laws should be followed even when no signs are present on access roads all over the city, it's not the traffic signs you see, it's the traffic signs you don't see. If you're on the access road, then yield the right of way. And that means all access roads with or even without a yield sign. It's the law. In this case, what we have, we have no yield sign. However, the rule still applies. It applies, but for some drivers, just not all the time. Even without a yield sign, are you still supposed to yield? Uh, I think so. And do you? Usually. That dump truck dealing with some of those who won't yield. Well, these people in the access road lane next to him should be yielding and he should be able to get in. They're supposed to. And they're not doing it. When vehicles are exiting the highway, they have priority over the vehicles in the access road. And that doesn't mean that you can take advantage of that priority. We've also had a couple of people crossing the double white line that are exiting the highway in order to try to make it into this parking lot. Did you cross the double white line? Uh, yeah. You know, did you know that's illegal? Yeah. <laughs> but you did it anyway? Well, yeah, I mean, I had to get over. It's pretty bad all over, actually. This area could get pretty expensive for drivers who don't understand the law. For instance, if you cross that double white line into an access lane and you don't yield for people who are still in the exit lane, that's two violations. A lot of it has to do with people are in a hurry, they're not paying attention, and they're just being discourteous to the other drivers. David Sears, KSAT 12.